Hey guys, I'm doing a 2 vs 2 CVP battle here. We got Tinka each, and my ally is Mazedon, and I'm playing as Spain. As you can see, my army is skirmish based. I've got 8 cavalry, 6 slingers, and 2 balloic slingers. Six, uh, 2 of my uh, cavalry are just round shields, so they're not the strongest, but they're pretty good just to push through the enemies and surround them and do some easy work. <clears throat> and I mean, if you're facing 6 cavalry, then these two can be really good because that's like the extra firepower. Or the extra melee power, I guess. And uh, anyway, our opponents are Minia and Espicure. So this should be interesting, there's quite a lot of trees here. We could have hidden some units over there, but I kind of want to stay up here on the hill. Could perhaps have hidden some over there. They might have hidden some units here. I'm not too worried about it though, because really I want to push left. So let's just see the armies. Got a lot of Catalfax here. Ooh, Catalfax against my poor guys. That is gonna be hard. Well, I don't want to run too far. I want to run like over here. And then my guys over there. Got a lot of archers. Actually, got a very strong army. I do got slingers though. See, they have quite a big hill here, and they're gonna try and shoot us with uh, the auxilia. I'm gonna try and go this way. them. Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot those quickly. Guys, over here now. Shit, it's not a problem that they're coming like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand shoot, stand shoot. Yeah. If you have a big blob like this, it's going to be pretty devastating.
Well, I lost my guy, so he was bad. Bowels have turned to water, and he runs from the fight. Better that he die than live. It's not so good. Your warlord has gone to his ancestors. His I lost my cab without really getting him in any good position. This this is just really bad. We didn't get up to good position. We should probably have went further, uh, further back. Yeah, this I'm I'm fucked. It was alright in the beginning, but then uh, I should probably have my my guys back, but the cavalry against slingers can be really really bad for the cav. But it was just too much cav over here at once for me to handle. But, uh, I'm gonna see if we can do a little bit of damage. Well, that's a question. The enemy are yeah, triumphant. There we go. The dead are many, and the weeping is loud after such a defeat. Wow, 19%. That was not good. What did I kill? 100? Wow. That's bad. <laughs> that sums it up. Alright, let's, let's take a look at these armies. That was tough. I mean, the map was terrible for us and the uh, factions, of course. But then they also just had the white armies to to win, so it was like all three, three out of three. That they needed uh, three out of three things that they needed in order to beat us, or that that they had. As an, uh, uh, as an uh, advantage. I mean, I, I, I chose to let my uh, uh, slingers just stand. In the, in the beginning, I, I made them run away, but then I made them like stand. Or what was it? First, I let them stand, then run away, then stand, I think. But they, he just had so much cap on the left side, and I couldn't really go into a straight straight fight, you know? So, I, I'd lose that. But I didn't really manage my units very well, man. As you see, it's just skirmish armies everywhere. Yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed this crushing defeat. Um, we'll see if we can redeem that. I'm going to do one more here. I'm going to show that in the next video. But anyway, take care, stay safe, and have a nice day. Bye for now.